you did all the homework. So Stafford over Dak is ridiculous. Why? Well, since 2016, these I'll just I'll just I basically kind of ranked them out, and both guys missed. Stafford missed eight games in uh, 2019, and obviously Dak missed what ten games last year. So it pretty much evens out because they basically played the same amount of games since 2016. Dak's ranking in uh, DVOA is 12. Stafford's 13. Pretty close. QBR. Dak, 69 average. 69. Yeah. Stafford, 63. Stafford's best season would be Dak's fourth best season in QBR. Adjusted net yards per attempt. Most predictive of the stats. Dak at 7. That's super high. Stafford at 6.32. It's not very good. It's, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's it's okay. It's it's like you know probably around a league average. Uh, you know it's it's you would like it to be six five six eight something like that or higher. And then now where Stafford gets him beat is uh, this. I love this stat. It's called air yards less expected. It's called Alex. It's an easy name to remember. Mm -hmm. How many yards beyond the sticks do you throw it on third down? Okay. So if you need ten yards. You don't want to throw at nine. Right. You want to throw it beyond the sticks. Stafford's really good at that. He's 10th in the league, and Dak's 20. So Dak needs to do a better job on that. But for the most part, it's not even close in the last four years. All right. Dak blows him on the wall. Here's where I stand on it. I believe that after this year, this has a chance of not getting this type of outrage. Because I believe Matt Stafford is more talented than Dak Prescott. And that's not a crazy statement. He, he went number one. He's got... Arguably an all-time great arm. He can move. I just think he's a better thrower of the football. My problem is I don't have an argument for Stafford not elevating the Lions past what they've ever been. Now, I will also say, and, and the book will be, well, Stafford hasn't had the teams around him that Dak has had. But, you you know, you, you throw out your Kenny Galladay's. You throw out your Marvin Jones. He had Megatron as well. Uh, and then TJ. And two of the top ten old linemen we talked about yesterday: interior uh, and and left yeah. tackle. It just fe it, right tackle. it feels like Dak has had a better supporting cast, and that's why I'm so intrigued. Because no more excuses. Stafford with McVay, and why hasn't Matt Stafford won more games if he is close to being if he has amazing talent and skill? And I don't have an answer for that. And I'm looking forward to seeing this year what happens with. Elite coaching. They've had they've had fine talent and it's been great, but they've had good talent. Like having Galladay and Marvin Jones and Megatron over the years, and uh, Hawkinson, and then having two offensive linemen in the top ten of their position last year. La yes, otherwise but, we couldn't name one Lions offensive lineman ever. Well, that's also because they play for the Lions. You know, like I don't I, I don't know about you. I don't pay attention to offensive linemen around the league. Like there's a few of them that I do, but that's only because they're on teams that we care about. Uh, so his talent's been okay. They asked a question yesterday. I think it was on Get Up or something. You know, is is Stafford a good quarterback who can't ele elevate bad players, or is he a great quarterback which has been held back by bad players? Mm. To which I would say, name me the great quarterback in the history of the NFL that has ever been held back by yeah. anything. Yeah, and that's the problem. And and I would answer A. He's a good quarterback who hasn't been able to elevate. I think he's a good quarterback, too. I think he's a good quarterback. Yeah, I don't think he's great. I, I don't think you could say he's great. Yeah. I think he has great talent. I think, he, I think he absolutely is the guy who has everything you possibly could look for. Size, strength, vision, awareness, who just isn't that good for some, whatever reason. Can't put it together. And maybe he does. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he has a breakout year in year 13. Like, who, who knows? Maybe he does. It could be the could be crazy. But the reality is, is that great quarterbacks elevate, elevate, and any anybody can win ten games in a year. Any quarterback in the league can win ten games one time. It's hard to do it four out of five years. Yeah, and any bat, any great quarterback could win seven games one year, but it's hard for them to only win seven four out of five years.